game night, Nikki, Rusty, Mark, Lincoln, and myself, Dave, are going to have our annual Kinderspiel des Jahres discussion of the nominees for 2018. Let's get right to it. In theory, if you're watching this episode, you've probably already seen the other three episodes in which we played these three nominees, Emojito, Panic Mansion, and Funken, Funkel Shots. Uh, Dragon's if, Breath. Dragon's Breath. <laughs> if you haven't, I'm sure those links will be available, perhaps <clears throat> on this episode? Yeah, they'll below be at the this bottom episode. in the comments. Uh, but, the and if, but assuming that you have, we're going to talk about them, we're going to figure out which ones we think might win, stuff like that, and we're going to start with Rusty. Rusty, just pick one and start us off. Panic Mansion. All right. Uh, this is the first of the three that I got to play, and I, I love the concept of it, the, the race, the components in it are wonderful. Uh, it, it's a fun start to a game. Uh, it has many levels of complexity, which I like so that depending on who you're playing with, you can you know, change it up so if you've got more adults rather than kids, you add in, you play the harder level. But I found with this game that after a little while, either one person is you know, really taking control and you're getting frustrated with it. <coughs> like it, like it. <laughs> <laughs> He's just really good. Yeah. Or it's, it's just a game that takes too long for some reason for what it is. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, it's, it's a, a great little activity. I, I like what it is. I like the concept. I think maybe it just overstays its welcome a little too long. All right. But it's, it's, a, it's a great game. Nikki? Um, I enjoyed it. I liked it. I liked the different um, wood pieces. The snake is particularly difficult, and two of them make it even worse getting through hmm. doorways, and it tends to hold things up and block doorways, too. Um, I, I liked all the various um, different ways to play it with the cards. Um, <clears throat> the first time I played it, I loved it, loved it. I've recently played it again and I was kind of like, mm, having played the other kids games. <laughs> so that's where I am with this one right now. I, I wouldn't say no to playing it with a group of people, hyper, fun, party game-like. Right. Link? I really liked Panic Mansion. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I did not have the... I, I can see the advanced games for me. I, I When we played it, I was a little frustrated because I just wanted it to be done. It's I feel that the the uh, and at BGG Spring there were people that were like no the only version the good version is the advanced one and I can understand that it's just when you play it truly as the game and you're trying to get a certain amount of cards it's very difficult especially with all this stuff sh sliding around and hang Nikki had a spider stuck mm -hmm. with his one of his legs in the eye of one, like the explorer <laughs> or something and it kept falling around <laughs> and she couldn't get it to separate and I can see that that would be. Uh, a little rough, but I really love the basic version of this game. I think yeah. it's really fun. Um, I watch some children play it and have a great time. Um, I think it definitely has chances. It's a uh, beautiful production, as is all three of these games. They're very, very gorgeous games. But um, it definitely, it's hanging in there for me. Yeah, I thought the bits were especially nice. Yeah. This, of the three, this one to me had like the coolest little bits. But, well, they're all custom, right? You know. But it falls into that category of dexterity, like which was it's just a game I'm terrible at. Right. So uh, it doesn't mean that it was like no fun. It wasn't like ah, I hate this stupid game. I just was no good at it. And if you're no good at it, then it's just it's just frustrating in a way, right? Like, what do you think? When it was described to me and I started playing it, I thought it looked great, and that lasted for about a quarter of the first game I was in. <laughs> <laughs> I really did not care for this one at all, actually. And I, I'm kind of boggled to imagine it as a kid's game. Both, I can't imagine, it says rated six, six years plus. Up. Yeah. You know, I can't imagine giving this game to little kids and having them play it by themselves without pieces getting lost all over the place. <laughs> That's probably true. And I also can't imagine being a parent and your kid coming up and wanting to play this night after night which is almost sort of one of my gauges is like because kids might have a favorite they want to play over and over again and it can't be the sort of game that as a parent you think oh not that one please not that one again. <laughs> and that that this pushed all those same buttons i mean i i like the look of it i mean yeah. but it just really did not work for me so panic mansion was not your cup of tea no which of these which was give me give me another cup of tea well let's start talking about fugo shots then okay okay so it was 
well, it's beautiful. You know, it's it, uh, actually, the and as great as the cover is, it doesn't even do the game justice to when you open it up. It really looks neat, so it has a kind of a fun toy factor. I mean, I guess Panic Mansion has a toy factor too, but it's just cute and pretty and fun. And um, and the gameplay, I thought, was, again, I'm a little, this one even says H5. I can't really imagine kids not, like, losing a bunch of pieces. It wouldn't be as a big deal if you lost a few pieces in Fugo Shots. And How would you, they, the board's pretty self-contained. How would you lose pieces? Oh, they go flying all over the room. Really? Yeah, I mean, the whole game is about <laughs> lifting things and carefully. they drop. Lifting carefully, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Kids. I get that part. But it, it, but it kind of doesn't matter. You just still play it anyway. And it was yeah. easy to learn, easy to play. Didn't have any of the frustration that I had in Panic Mansion. I, I, I really like Funko Shots yeah. quite a bit. What do you think, Link? Funko Shots is beautiful. It's uh, very simple. It's a, I feel that I don't know about kids lifting it. I guess that might be half the fun is them like kind of fumbling it. <laughs> and I know there's uh, uh, things to do uh, me, how, if there's clumsy players in the mm. game. So like if you accidentally knock one of the gems in somebody else's gem into the dad's de uh, vault then you give one of yours to that player that lost it because um, it is a little you know we mm -hmm. had some problems there the just picking up the thing, gems you yeah. know yes. we you mean me <laughs> well i think mark had a little bit of problem with oh. it too um but uh i really appreciate the production of this game and i think it's an awful lot of fun i did not play this one with kids though it was a bunch of adults playing this one right every time <laughs> Well, other than BGG Spring, what opportunity? I mean, that's when I usually get a chance. Even you don't have kids anymore. No, my kids are growing, but I know Your what kids I, don't even live in the house. I remember what playing with kids is like. Yeah, yeah. And I can imagine. Yeah, I'm Kevin, good. I wish he could be here because he does have a son that's exactly the right age for that game. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Nikki? Um, I enjoyed it. The bits, of course. Haba always does great looking stuff. Um, the rings are really pretty to look at with the gems inside, kind of shimmering through. Um, the dad with the metallic foil on it, foil yeah. on yeah. it is yeah. really gorgeous and it's a nice size yeah yeah it's not a little bitty thing it's it's hefty um as far as gameplay goes i i thought it was fun i like the idea of you're not necessarily collecting sets you're picking mm. a color that looks like it's going to pay off right um yeah the most um and the interplay with your rooting for your when someone else's turn, you're still kind of in the game because mm. you're rooting for your pieces to fall That's off and yeah. um, those sorts of things. So I enjoyed that game. Rusty, of all the three games out here, I think this is the most kid game like. This one, yeah. it's you're not going to have parents fighting to play this, but parents <laughs> are not going to be annoyed to play this. No. It's it's a, a fast game. B, you're not needing that dexterity and that accuracy you need in Panic Mansion. Uh, it's supposed to have a little bit of chaos, and you're not supposed to have that type of control. You're just guessing as to what's going to be the best one to get, and nobody's going to have you know hard feelings. Oh, I didn't win this round. I didn't right. win this round. Yeah. Everyone is winning in some level in this round. Right. Somebody is collecting this, except for that. I don't know. Round. We saw one where there was nobody got any gems. I think when you we got the out. most gems in that. The dad got the most right. gems. Right. Well, that then one I didn't even understand I... how they all fell in there. So many. Mm. That no, so I'm odd. saying there was one round where it was all the red gems, and and I didn't pick red out of. Stupidity, not okay. that it ended up mattering, but um, uh, yes, you you took some of those words right out of my mouth. <laughs> in that, in that, uh, Fumble Shots is fast. This this fulfills your parents. Do you want to play it again? Yeah. I, even if you're not crazy about the game, it takes so little time that there's really no reason not to play it again, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I think the. The gameplay, if it, the the choosing what you said, Nikki, mm -hmm. the the specifically every round you recalibrate and you get to choose like a new color. Right. Other than that, the gameplay is pretty simple. I think a lot of what makes this game interesting is just the theme is neat and the execution of that theme is kind of cool. That little melting the ice tower for like the gems to come out is just kind of a neat implementation of that. But. It doesn't surprise me that the lower age on this is five. It, it seems, yes, maybe pieces would get lost, but it seems like... Mm -hmm. Or swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like that, that the gameplay itself is suited to that age. Am I wrong? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, the, the only problem is, is like if you've got some guy in the game that's really clumsy, you yeah. can't reset. I know. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. what do you do? I know. <laughs> well, just don't play. Just don't play you actually can reset, I suppose. You could just put them all back in and then re-pick, right? Right. We could have done that, I suppose. Eh. Yeah, no, it didn't matter. Uh, ages 5 to 99, ages 6 
and up. So Emojito is ages seven to ninety nine. Right. I like six and up, but these guys say after ninety nine, you're, you're not, done. You can't, <laughs> you're not allowed to play. You're enfeebled. <laughs> but it doesn't surprise me that this has the the highest minimum age because it's probably I don't know if it's the mo- calling it the most complex of these three is <laughs> none of them are that complex. But this one to me felt like a game game, like. Mm. Like you were actually playing a game game as opposed to like a kid's game. I could see, this is the kind of game where I could see kids really digging it because of the fun art and because of their ability to make faces. Mm -hmm. But it also felt like if you played this without kids, I could see grown-ups playing this all the time. This is a great like late night party game. Well, that was the joke is that everybody's calling Emojito and they're making treating as a drinking <laughs> game. Right? Ah, I like it. So, what what causes you to drink? I have no idea. I'm not a drinker, so what would I say? I don't know. Well, what did you say? Talk to me. I think the game is really fun. I it's probably as a gameplay, it's the best game for me because it's a lot of fun and you're working together. I love the telephone one, uh, ver, ver, or the secret mission. Uh, is it secret? Secret message. Secret message version. Although, boy, I think I played that poorly. Um, (laughs) Because I immediately got that you had one eye closed. So there you go. Um, But thankfully, most everybody picked it. So somehow it was communicated (laughs) enough. Um, But everything about it's really, it's got a lot of different versions in it. We did not play the versus uh, version, which is not the one that was nominated. But that seems like it could be fun, too. But it's definitely, I I like the cooperative nature of this game. And it's an, an awful lot of fun that way. I like that too. What do you think, Nick? Uh, I enjoyed it, and I liked the versions that we played. Um, the Telegraph one was the... F- uh, um, telephone. Telegraph. The one with the closed eyes yeah, was, yeah. was really fun um, to see how messed up <laughs> it would get. But like that's the fun of Telephone, right? Yeah, of right? course. Um, to me, I just I felt like it was more for an adult party game. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just felt like kids were just play with some kids and you'll find out. Yeah, it's you probably okay, pretty fun. Probably. You don't yeah. think kids would get into that? Um. Don't kids like to make faces? Are we talking to me now? Yeah. 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 I think so. I think so for sure. I I was so delighted by that game I, and so <clears> surprised. <throat> I mean, we were joking when we started because you know the sort of performative part of this is <laughs> it's not my thing and I was I mean I was dreading it when when we when you started explaining the rules I thought it's that kind of game oh yeah. my gosh and yes I didn't I was nervous about doing it in front of even you guys are my friends but and doing it on camera oh my gosh but it's only saved permanently forever right um, <laughs> yeah, that's great but I thought oh this would be so much fun to play with kids yeah to be like you know the goofy parent and just watching okay. them giggle I think so, anyway. Okay. Yeah. What do you think, Rusty? Well, this is the game that I had the greatest swing on opinion on from the first time I tried to play it to the most recent time. Uh, the American rules uh, are slightly different, and I couldn't ever get a complete game of that through. Mm. Nobody wanted to play it. Nobody wanted to play a complete game of it. They had other things to do. And I think part of that was I was playing with serious gamers and they were all adults. What was the difference in the rules? They were playing the verses. They weren't playing. Ah, okay. The, where Instead everyone of the co-op. Thing. Yes. Oh yeah, oh. the co-op. I see, it seems to be the way to play it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And the, you know, the first time I really got to play with kids was here on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a much better game, and I can see why it was nominated now. Uh, the great art, the ability just to have fun and laugh. Yeah. And I think kids will really be drawn to that, just that the laughing. Uh, these other two have great components and are very tactile. This one is not so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's more of enjoying your friends and being able to try silly things. And I think that's that's now I see why it really was brought into the kids category and really is a kids is game. Is this your favorite of the three, then? Well, I'll wait a is minute. It, are we there? I'm asking you, is this your favorite of the three? It is not, oh, believe really? it or not. So we're going to pick now? No, we're just talking. Well, okay, I guess we can, but I mean... Before Everybody's we, had their say? Bef- before we do that, did you, you talked about yeah, this. Yeah, I did. Right? Yeah. I was worried about yeah. you. No, no, I got, I got the stuff in that okay, I wanted cool. to get okay. in. But before we do that, you always have your little toy factor thing, right? Oh, yeah. That you, I think, think, you think that the, the, t- the bits part of it often supersedes or... I, not super I, seed, I but think overshadows the, the game part. I think the ability to give the game as a good gift right. is a important part of what may be an important part of 
of picking a winner. So does that help Panic Mansion? Yeah, way? it does. Yeah, you showed me. You want to flip over that? It's incredibly yes. cool. Yeah, we don't have them loose, but you can actually play the game in the store because the pieces are in the. So you can. You can sort of. The yeah, game see example how the game basically plays. right there. Yeah. Right. right. So, so you're saying you're in the store and you can shake it and you're like, oh, yeah. I'm going to buy this. That yeah. adds some good shelf presence action, whatever it does. You know, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, this one's like a cool present to give and open, you know, more so than the other two. Yeah. Yeah, this one, so the, Haba has a design style that they follow for their children's games, and right. it's always this. The yellow. And I think it box. hurts this game in this regard, because it helps in Germany because people buy their games based on, on site. Because they're a brand. Like Haba, yeah. They're a brand, um, and they know it. But this one is not as beautiful on the outside as it is on the inside. Yeah, it's pretty no. great, but it's not as fantastic as it is on the inside. Yeah, if like they had those... changed it up like they've been doing with their... Because they did Karuba, they okay. did um, Iquazu, oh, which yeah. has really nice... The Karuba art is really yeah. nice, actually. So the outside, but that's not a kid's game either, again, right? Again, that's correct. But I'm just saying, that's why they did this, and there it is the kid's line, which I've never seen it vary. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I've not seen every... There's so many Haba uh, releases, it's ridiculous. And they stay in print for a very long time, which is yeah. pretty amazing. Um, did you go that one time up to Mark Jackson's? And see his Haba collection? No, I didn't see that. Oh. I know he's got. Was a, it a yellow wall? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. It was like. It was yeah. stunning. And but I've seen them in stores, like you say. I yeah. mean, it's clear. I yeah. mean, the Haba section, right? Right. Yeah. It's, it's a def- brand. They're smart. They know what their yeah, brand absolutely. is, and they. They. I mean, I don't. I don't think that. I don't think that hurts their chances. For example. No, but I mean, if you're going to go on presentation factor, I mean, this is the this is the one that is the most impressive all the way around. It looks great. It has a as Mark says, great shelf presence, because of that, you pick it up and you're like, oh wow, I can play this game. Um, and when we first played it, I, I was like, wow, this is going be to be tough to beat, because it looks great from above. I mean, right. looking down on it, it looks really fantastic. Yeah, I mean, now in this country, we're starting to see more games, especially award-winning ones, like at Target or something like that. Yes. You can really see this at Target. Yeah. It may it, be there it already. It probably is already like, there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> these it's less shaky so, even manner. Though... <laughs> the U.S. Yeah, right. was in a shaky manner, I think. Okay. Which is weird. Panic Mansion works. I, I, I yeah. don't know. Well, but Panic Mansion, you don't necessarily know what that is, right? At least shaky, yeah, shaky manner, manner tells you this is what we're doing. Yeah. And if you flip it over and you see loose stuff in this thing, yeah. you're like, oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to shake this all up. <laughs> also, that's your classic Christmas gift thing, yeah. right? It's wrapped yeah. and like, shake it to see, like... So who knows? Maybe the just the sexiness of the box sound but when you shake it off. Yeah, it's not I would the agree. Best game. I would agree. Well, okay, let's. But I've I think that that's we've had the, the discussion before. I actually f- picked I think uh, Pusher Monster both for what I thought should win and favored like Dave did last year for yeah. the SDJ, and I picked it as the one that which should win, mm-hmm. which it didn't because. It's not as impressive as Spinderella. Spinderella is an amazing production. I mean, it looks fantastic. But the real game and the fun game, I think, for all around was, for me, and what I saw was Pan- uh, Push Monster. Well, so. the difference between that year and this year was, regardless of how much you like Push Monster, and correctly liked it, by the way, <laughs> Spinderella was still a game. Oh, yeah. It wasn't it more wasn't. so to me than Panic Mansion. Okay. Well, it's a very different. I mean, this is a, it's real, a, very, this it's a real-time puzzly dexterity thing, Correct, right? which yeah. is a very different thing. Than a board game. Yeah. But let's we're there. I think we're there. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do first. We're going to point to the game that we is is our favorite. Okay. We're not predicting yet. We're just okay. pointing to what our favorite is. Boy, I gotta tell you, this year's tough. I think this is a very tough year. Okay. Tougher than usual. Because they all have pluses and minuses that put them at the same level for me as far as I, I can understand Mark not liking this one. I, I right. think the base game is a lot of fun. Although I did, remembering you were saying, like, I can't see kids doing this. I do remember one kid being extremely frustrated. Mm. He was, like, just trying to shake it around and, like, yeah. nothing was nothing happening. Was yeah. happen. you know? yeah. Yeah. And uh, that could, that was it here. And, you know, the jury tests with hundreds of kids. And they do, I think Good they each them. do it independently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they get a lot of exposure to see. Because they have what they like. Mm-hmm. And then they have, they filter it through what the uh, audience is. But they obviously test it with kids before they pick the nominees Absolutely. as well. So, I mean, that, that, that this even made the final that's three true, meant that obviously true. there were enough kids that liked it, right? Yeah, of course. All right, ready? Three, two, one. And then we're going to point to the one that is our favorite. Okay. Personal favorite. All right, personal okay. favorite. Ready? Three, two, one, point. Oh. Personal favorite. Personal uh-huh. favorite. <laughs> wow. All right, well, we're all here and Rusty's, on emoji we're all on emoji Rusty's to on Rusty's in. Shots. All right, Rusty. I found that this was much more enjoyable to me as far as being able to earn points to 
look forward to an end to just be participating in this and doing my thing. Right. Um, this, even though my opinion on it changed dramatically to the point that I almost voted for this, I can see situations where there can be players in this that just don't jive and the game doesn't come together the way that you would expect it. Right. Yeah, that's true. So, but that's uh, almost any party -ish of course. type game. Right? Mm -hmm. True. And that's, and that's part of the thing, that it's a party-ish type game rather right. than a kids type game. This gets to me. It's a little more party than kids. I, well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just picking your favorite. Yeah, and that's fine. I, yeah, I'm not picking what I think will win. Right. This is just yeah. my favorite of the three. Right. This was the one I had the most fun playing. So I mean, right. right. Same right. for you. It doesn't Same necessarily sure. fit the category as I see it. Right. But I like this game. Right. Now here we go. Dun, yes. Now dun, comes the prediction. This is, and I actually don't. This is tough. I don't I know. I don't know. This is very this is cool. I don't know because uh, I want to pick Imogen. Your own favorite. I do want to pick my own favorite because my favorite. But Rusty's point, I think, I is hundred percent on. Is sort of yes. valid. Right? I, my, Absolutely. My, I don't know where Rusty's going, but I know where I'm going. But then there's a part of me that thinks, well, why did they put it there in the first yes. place? If they they nominated it in the first place, right. so right, right. Uh, they had oh. kids playing. All right, here we go. You ready? Yes. You ready? Okay. Three, dun, dun, two, dun. one. Vote. Wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> right there. That's fantastic. That's never happened. No. Uh, it's pretty. It I, I mean, I hope that <laughs> for our sake, since we all put we stake our reputations on this <laughs> oh, in our yeah. spreadsheet, uh, I hope it does win. So yeah. I Nikki, think it has a good chance. Nikki, you, know? you think this is too grown up? Is that what your thing? Is? I really, I can't get over that. I don't know. I I could be completely wrong in my. I hope we're wrong. My thinking of too grown up part for of me, game. For me, Mojito, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I could. I could very well be wrong. I just can't get over that idea of kids playing this with... Yeah. I, I'm sure I, they, I like Dave said, they've, they've tested it. They know that it, yeah. it works for yeah. kids. It made yeah. it this far. Yeah, So obviously course. there's something of course. there. Yeah. But this one, I, but this does feel like, again, box presence wise, it's yeah. kind of the least impressive. Yeah, I was trying to think. Has any, have the but if you're talking about shaking hobby. it when you... <laughs> It's going to have a yeah, lot of noise true. in there. Um, well, but, it's also fun. You, the oh, standard hob away where the I think box the game itself is, is part of the game. I think it's fantastic. The I, bits I, are really I really, cool. it's a, I was torn between these two. Like the I said, shower initially rings. I thought First Sir Panic Mansion mm -hmm. was going to win. I, I, as soon as I, I played, I'm like, wow, you can't beat this. Yeah. Um, and I still think it has a really good chance. Mm -hmm. I have no idea yeah, truly what the kids are doing. You think it has a chance? Sure. What the that. youngins are doing. Um, <laughs> and then this one, I, I think it's fantastic, and I think kids could have a lot of fun, but this one just is like... The youngest kids can actually have a good time, and it's a good game for everyone because it's so simple. You know, it's it's kind of like what we were saying last year for uh, King Domino, where it was a great starter game. Yeah. And there's depth to it. It's not that hard. Right. Uh, it would be hard for children. That's why it's a SDJ and not a Kenner, a Kidder, Kinder. Wow, Kenner. Um, <laughs> but uh, but that one for me is like the most powerful one. I I I I don't know. I hope it wins since we all voted for it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well. Yes, did you have something? You're excited? I'm excited. You I'm excited. Both, both, uh, yeah. Well, I, I seem to do that a lot in these, <laughs> but, you know, you know, I think my personal opinion about the game weighs in a lot. Influences as, your, yeah. Yeah. I, it's hard to guess what the jury's going to, you know, they yeah. they have a lot bigger pool of, of mm -hmm. judgment for than, than we, Different than we considerations have. Different Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah totally. I, but I, I feel that this one is super easy for kids to get. This one would be hard. I mean, it's going to be awesome to watch kids try to make these faces. Yeah. Um, and you never know, Rusty, if your first play of Imogito had been with kids instead of... Or the way... The, the instead, way the of like, instead of like AP-esque gamery gamers, <laughs> you might have... Well, if you've played you it the way thought, that oh it's gosh, actually, I think, is the nominated way. I agree. And that's why I said this one, mm. my decision, my opinion of it just changed so dramatically. It was still a hard decision between which one I thought was going to win. And that's not saying that this was, Panic Mansion was far behind. No. It really wasn't. I know I sounded very negative on it, yeah. but there were just the things that really pulled away from. I don't know. They, they, the all, they all have a chance yeah. of winning and they all deserve, the, they all deserve to win. I, I mean, this is the most the strongest Ken, uh, Kinderspiel uh, set before. I know you want to say Kenner. I'm la um, no, I'm laughing because I think you make that statement every no, year. No, <laughs> because as much as I liked him, I, you think about him in... Pe so we talked about last year was Captain Silver. Mm -hmm. um, oh, was High School? High yeah. School, Silver, which did... Yeah, and, and, then, and, and then what was the third one? Sad, we can't even remember. But mm -hmm. High School deserved to win because it's... 
you know, fantastic looking, and it's one of those games that even anybody would want to jump and flick mm -hmm. those uh, the pieces around. Uh, Captain Silver is awesome, but I don't see myself. I see myself burning out on that game. Yeah, quicker. totally. Like if you were playing with kids, and if they wanted to play it all the time, I would be tired of that pretty quickly. And I think us not remembering the third one sort of speaks to not. That's remembering terrible the third because one. I'm pretty That's sure terrible. it was pretty good. It was that, good. It doesn't. It, 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 it could have been fantastic. There's there's a lot of games. I'm gonna look that, that up. <laughs> there's just no way I want to know. Yeah, you gotta. See. But I think that this one here, the, for me and this one, it has the most kid-friendly element about it. That's why I think it, it has a very good chance. Like I say, though, I do feel that they haven't done themselves any favors for... Uh, the year before, two years ago, was Leo Goes to the Barber, right? Yeah. Really? Oh, man. That was good. Yeah, that, that one didn't win. You know, yeah. and I, I love that game. That game Because awesome. of the broken... It wasn't Factor. broken. Don't say that. It was not broken. <laughs> it is. They because said they that. said they you said. can you can go all the way through without run, running into any obstacles by how sheer that, blind luck. How is that broken then? Uh, that that's, just just happens. I mean, all the, the all these friends. The, he played it with a family, and they mysterious they, force. Um, they, oh yes, which was a beautiful game. I, I, don't, I think you might too. have picked on. I, I liked it. I so think much you might select the story because, element. That yeah, came with it, I liked yeah. That last year. So I mean, that and it sucks that we didn't remember it. I mean, that's terrible. Um, but, but I'm saying I thought those were three great games last year. Right, but I that, felt, I'm just I felt I'm just that Cap, in that, that case, Captain Silver was the ultimately the weaker one. I, you can have this conversation for every award because the yeah. SDJs do the same yeah. thing for me. There's one, yeah. the one that wins is neat looking and it's awesome, but I'll n I've never played it again. It's many times. I will play the other game. Like the, an example is the game. Um, mm -hmm. That was Machi Koro, the game, and uh, Cult, Cult Express. Express. Yeah. And I, for me, I, you know, I can understand people's problems with Machi Koro. Um, I still think that's a fun game, but I yeah. haven't played it in three years or whatever, but the one that I keep wanting to play is the game. Yeah. The game is the one that should have won just based on its replayability. Well, there's always but been... I, at the time, I think I chose either Machi Koro or Colt Express. I might have been yeah. wavering between... As yeah. much as I love the game, I think the game's fantastic. Yeah. And I think, personally, I think the way you do is that the games I want to pick, to be picked are the ones that are like the evergreen titles that we will play year in, year out. But I'm not sure that the... Prize or the jury Cares sort of about thinks that. of it the same yeah. way. I think it could be like it's a you know this is the game of the year. Yeah. Well, but the example life of one of those that should have won and did win was Codenames. It was a new thing mm. that seemed like it should have existed already yeah. and was already a classic. The se I mean, we played it two weeks after the game was designed. Mm. We played a prototype and we're like. Wow! Yeah, you know, Everyone, it's like Dominion, like that was yeah. the same there's way. We're like, of, oh my, we played that was just that you know once in a, while. a deck of cards, and it was nothing at the yeah. time. But and you're talking was, about the nature of awards now. I mean, there's <laughs> right. an argument you made that there's an argument made that anything, I mean, Academy Awards or you know, any kind of awards, yeah. an, you should make those five years from now. Yeah, exactly. You should do. Oh, you shouldn't be making. Yeah. yeah, you shouldn't be making picking stuff for 2018 until like well, 2022. Part of it is you can look back on the jury is the press. Right, they're yeah. they're talking about the games of the year. They want they're making the recommend the safe recommendation for the audience. Right. The, I mean, some would argue that Dominion did not meet that criterion. It was actually a little too complicated. That I believe that is the game that that caused the the need to make the Kenner Spiel Award because everybody's mm -hmm. like, this is too hard. Every one of these cards is something different, and it's not it's not a family game as you know. And there's many people who go, oh, my kids can play that, of course, but yeah. you're a game of a family of gamers, you know? Yeah. A lot of these people are not gamers. So that's where this... Well, and times change, right? I mean, Takal won that award, and right. Takal is a fantastic game. Of course. I don't know that I would play that with kids. I mean... But that was an SDJ. I mean, it yeah. was a different judgment time. I mean, it's a family game is what the what the SDJ is. And that's what I think that the, the Kenner is a family game as well, but it's right. slightly more advanced. And we're getting right. off topic because that's the next discussion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this that one. is a perfect promo yeah, yeah. to watch the other episodes <laughs> yeah. on game night of the discussion. But that will wrap it up for this discussion. Yeah. So thank you all, everybody. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave.